Good morning, everybody. Today's gonna be a bit of a random video, but it is a beautiful day. I'm actually feeling so energetic, probably because I slept 90% of the weekend. Right now, I am just about to head out the door to go get some groceries, and I thought, why not do a grocery haul slash meal prep thing of what I do with my groceries when I get them home? So I'm going to head out right now, got my bins in the car and bags and stuff ready to go, and then I will come home and we will do a grocery haul and meal prep together. I was hoping to just go to Costco, but I ended up having to go to Superstore as well. So half the groceries are from Costco, but then the other half are from Superstore. So that's why there's a lot of bulk. We also had a lot of restock we needed to do. And yeah, came home with a lot of groceries. So to start with, we have pickles because I go through what well, we just it's a big pickle household, I guess. Peanut butter. I got a bunch of toothpaste as well as toothbrushes. And then this was a complete impulse buy from Costco, but there's a silicone baking sheet. I don't remember how much it was because I didn't really care. We have some pasta sauce, olive oil because we just ran out, some bell peppers, um, gluten-free bread, a bunch of ground turkey, which I was actually impressed. This, there's like four of these packs. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say this was $10 for four packs, but I was wrong. It was definitely $22. I also have some spinach. I've been running out of baking powder and baking soda, so got stocked up on those. Some coffee creamer, and then garlic and avocado. This is the best thing in the world. If you do not have access to chocolate hummus, I would highly suggest finding a way to get some because it's so good. It tastes like brownie batter, hence the strawberries. I'll rinse these up and then try and not eat all of it before my husband gets home. So I also stocked up on my oats, but then I needed to get some cambros because I wanted a better way to store my rice and oats and these are working wonderfully. So I'm going to do some overnight oats and get that started for this week. And then I'm also going to do an apple crisp. So I like to start off with one cup of oats and I make a mess multiple times in this video. So you're just gonna have to watch me clean it up and disappear. I throw about a tablespoon or so of hemp hearts and a tablespoon of flaxseed into all the dishes. And I'm making two different kinds today. So I've got one with a bunch of coconut and that's gonna be a blueberry coconut pie. And then the little ones are that I'm putting the cocoa powder in right now. Those are going to be chocolate peanut butter. And I just add coconut because I think it helps with the sweetness. Now I'm adding in some vanilla, maybe about a teaspoon and a half into each one. And then maple syrup because I have a bit of a sweet tooth. And so I throw about a tablespoon, maybe two into each one. This is totally optional though, and you do not need to put that much in. I put a little bit less in the chocolate peanut butter because I just do. The blueberry pie gets some cinnamon because it helps make it taste more pie-like and it's really good. I only recently started doing this one and I love it. Now I didn't put enough milk in, so I would suggest doing a full cup. I only put in like two thirds or whatever, and then I had to add more. Then I top the coconut blueberry ones off with Blueberries, of course, and I just kind of fit in how many will fit because at this point the jar is pretty full. Then I throw some peanut butter into the chocolate peanut butter container and we start mixing everything up. And then it just goes into the fridge and that is where it sits. And the next morning it's deliciousness, ready to go. For this apple crisp, I actually followed two different recipes and twisted them both to make my own. So the entire recipe will be in the description down below as well as the two that I took inspiration from.
Okay, I'm done the apple crisp. I always forget how long apple crisp takes because you just spend so long cutting the freaking apples. Oven's preheating because I forgot to do that. Apple crisp is in now. So I think I'm going to end this little vlog grocery haul thing today and start editing it. And hopefully there's a video for you in the next week-ish. Today is Monday, March 8th. So my goal is to get it up by the 12th. I think that would be Thursday or Friday. But if you don't see it till the 17th or until the 19th, that's also very likely because it is I and I am very tired a lot. Don't even know the last time a video went up on my last channel. I filmed one, but it was super depressing. So I think that is everything that I'm going to say for now because I really need to sweep my floor and I really need to drink some water and maybe make myself some food, but I just, ugh, I don't want to eat anything. I'm tired because I know I haven't eaten enough today. I've had literally two bagels and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know, I'm just at this weird stage during this pregnancy where I'm just not really, like I know I'm hungry, but I don't actually want to eat anything. If that has happened to you or if you know what this is and if it's going to last, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and if you would like to subscribe, feel free to do that. And if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up because that helps me and the channel. And I will see you when I see you. Bye.